My name is Lindsay Parker and I'm going to go through with you my lesson that I created. So the first thing is my mini lesson that I uploaded. I talked about lesson three, which was creating and organizing your own story based off the story elements that we learned together. And then I also put all the objectives that this unit would highlight and I'll discuss more of these as I go through my formative and summative assessments. So first, let's see, my pre-assessment, I decided to do a Flipgrid so they would go to this website and there, there will be a code and I have the instructions and they would upload a video to me and then I could look and see how much they know about story elements since this is a pre-assessment. So hopefully students would be able to identify and understand the story elements even before we go further into this lesson. And then next is my summative assessment. Well, actually, I think it's formative next, but we'll talk about summative. So this is my assessment. I feel like it would have been best to just have the students type out their answers on here. And summative students would be able to know the different elements identify important details, which is one of our objectives. And then if you go to rubrics, I listed the rubric for the summative assessment. So there's a total of 11 points, but has developed, being accomplished, and exemplary. And then the next one that I have is the formative assessment. So I would either have students, I would either print this out and have students write on it, or I added a text box so students could just type it out and then submit it through Canvas. And then I would have them fill out this story elements worksheet and formative. The standard would have been RL 2.3 and the Bloom's understanding and analyzing I feel like would fit well because students would use their knowledge to identify the different elements. And I also feel like they would be a lot more comfortable doing so. And this is my Canvas page for first grade for story elements. 